Today on RUTV, we cover what you need to know for school reopening. Also, we go into depth on former Clippers star first game with his new squad. Then we talk about the first lady of physics. Don't look away, it all starts right now on RUTV. Morning Seahawks. Today's Friday, March 26th. I'm Bella Hines. And I'm Tatum Brown. Before we talk about school announcements, let's discuss next week's schedule. Next week, Monday and Tuesday, the 29th and 30th, respectively, will both be senior on-campus days. Seniors will be allowed on campus from 9 to 11. Monday and Wednesday are 135 days, while Tuesday and Thursday will be 246 days. Also, Friday the 2nd of April, there's no school, so enjoy your extended spring break. RUHS ASB is looking for students interested in being in ASB for the 2021 to 2022 school year. Students will be presented throughout the year with opportunities to plan the events for the school year, to build school spirit and actively engage the various voices in the school community. If ASB sounds like a class you are interested in, join the ASB Elections Google Classroom. The code can be found in your school email. If you have not yet submitted your mural entry for the class of 2021, please submit it to Ms. Mata by today. Also, if you're interested in joining the wrestling team, especially freshmen and sophomores, please email noah2068 at my.rboc.org. Please include your name, grade, and GPA, and no prior experiences is required. Join the Redondo Reducers using a free link to a virtual screening of the documentary, The Story of Plastic, from now until April 1st, followed on the night of April 1st by a panel of discussion with local environmental heroes. Check out the flyer found in your school email. Remember, we can't recycle out of the problem. Reduce your use. Are you just girls volleyball tryouts on Monday the 29th from 2.30 to 4 p.m.? Tryouts will take place at Hermosa Beach on 16th Street. All players, including returning players, must try out. Please bring water, sunblock, and a beach towel. If you have any questions, please email Coach Mark. Welcome back to National News. I'm Karma Sarni. Ten people, including the first police officer to arrive at the scene, were killed in a shooting at a supermarket in Boulder, Colorado. The shooter was identified as a 21-year-old man, and the weapon used was purchased just days before the attack. The House has passed two significant bills for immigration reform. One of them, the American Dream and Promise Act, would help people brought into the country illegally as children get permanent residency and eventually citizenship. The other, the Farm Workforce Modernization Act, would help migrant farm workers get legal status and permanent residency, while reforming agricultural visas and strengthening requirements for legal status confirmation system E-Verify. These bills, however, are unlikely to be passed in the Senate. That's it for national news. Take it away, Nathan and Travis. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to RUTV Sports. I'm Travis Wilkins. And I'm Nathan Robertson. Boys and girls water polo finished up their, set, their short seven game season this past week. Both our girls and boys varsity teams played Costa on Wednesday the 17th. Our boys team fought hard the whole game, but unfortunately they lost a tight game 10 to six. That same day, our girls team fought till the end in a close game against Costa. Senior Kennedy East scored an outstanding five goals leading her team to the win by one goal for a final score of 11 to 10. Great job to both of these teams and their coaches. I think that we can all agree that the return of March Madness has sure lived up to the hype with plenty of upsets along the way. 
The Sweet 16 begins tomorrow with the 16 team seeds combining for a record high of 94. Some surprise entries include 11 seed Syracuse who squeaked by 3 seed West Virginia, 11 seed UCLA who narrowly beat Michigan State in their first contest and have cruised ever since, and 12 seed Oregon State who many didn't think would make it to the tournament in the first place. But by far the most shocking team in the Sweet 16 is a 15 seed Oral Roberts. Oral Roberts beat two seed Ohio State in dramatic fashion in the first round on Friday and they continued their improbable run by narrowly beating Florida. Oral Roberts is one of two 15 seeds to ever make it to the Sweet 16. The other team was the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles who were led by current USC head coach Andy Enfield. Speaking of USC, yeah, they're also in the Sweet 16 and they'll play Oregon on Sunday. This is the first time since 2007 both UCLA and USC are in the Sweet 16. UCLA also plays on Sunday against two-seed Alabama. Girls lacrosse played their first game last week on Saturday the 20th against Glendale. Our girls dominated the entire game and won 21-4. Great job and keep up the high scoring. Boys lacrosse also played their first game on Thursday last week against Culver City. It was a hard-fought game, but unfortunately they lost 8-10. Senior and captain Nate Fix was awarded player of the game for his outstanding performance, scoring four goals. Soccer had their first game on Friday, March 16th against West High. They played a great game that ended in a 3-3 tie. I can't wait to see how the rest of the season goes for them. In other news, football played a hard-fought game against uh, Penn last Friday. They came away with a big win to kick off their season. They won a tight game, 10-7. Offensive player, Keith Marco. Defensive player, Preston Arnbart. And special teams player, Robert Baker, all played incredibly and were awarded players of the game by Coach Billard. Blake Griffin made his Nets debut Sunday night after being bought out by the Detroit Pistons two weeks ago. There's been much speculation over what kind of player Blake will become in Brooklyn and if we will see him play like he used to during the Lob City era. But after what we saw Sunday, he answered a few of those questions for us. Blake told the media he was going to play his role on this team, which he surely did. In 15 minutes on the court, Blake recorded two rebounds and just two points. But those two points were monstrous because they came from Blake's first dunk since the December of 2019. So we won't be seeing the Blake that once ran the league on this team, but he's going to be doing nothing short of his part. Well, that wraps up our UTV Sports. Now, let's go back to Tatum. Go Seahawks. This week, in honor of Women's History Month, we are taking a look at a woman who had a large impact on the world of science, Chin Xiong Wu. Wu is often referred to as the first lady of physics. Wu was born in China and moved to America to study physics. She pursued graduate studies at Berkeley, Princeton, and Columbia University. Wu is most known for her work on the Manhattan Project, which was the U.S.'s first atomic bomb used in World War II. She conducted countless experiments that disproved laws and changed the world of science. Wu has received many awards for her unique and groundbreaking work, including becoming the first female president of the American Physical Society. Wu is such an inspiration to people all over the world who are pursuing their dreams. As many of you know, sports programs have slowly started to pick back up, and one of them being AYSL Recreational Soccer. Redondo Beach has opened signups for recreational soccer for all ages. For more information on joining, visit AYSL34.com. Now here's Sophia Roberts covering National Geographic's newest series. Hello everyone, I'm Sophia Roberts and this is your entertainment news. The third installment in the National Geographic anthology series called Genius Aretha was released on Sunday and aired through Wednesday. The series can be found on Hulu and follows about a two decade timeline of singer Aretha Franklin's life as a child prodigy throughout her tough childhood and upbringing and throughout the beginning period of her career as she gains more success and becomes known as the Queen of Soul. Franklin is played by Tony Award winning actress Cynthia Erivo and the first two installments of the Genius series are also available on Hulu about Albert Einstein and Pablo Picasso. Cynthia Erivo's performance has been known as breathtaking and show-stopping. That's all for entertainment news, now let's go to an all new Brant time. Hey Sam, how's it going? Good, how are you Mr. Brant? Good, you happy to be back on campus? I sure am. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye Mr. Brant.
Hey Seahawks, welcome back. We're excited to get you back on campus. Uh, thank you to those of you who have decided to join the hybrid on-campus learning. And those of you who are continuing with distance learning, we completely understand and we hope you uh, have great success either model that you chose. Seahawks, uh, the most important things are to be safe, of course. Wash your hands, wear a mask, keep that physical distancing, and avoid uh, getting into groups or gathering. We really appreciate you helping us out with that. And we're looking forward to welcoming you back on campus, seniors, on Monday and Tuesday in your two different cohorts. And also, the rest of the school, you'll be coming back after spring break for our full cohorts A and B on that Tuesday and Wednesday after spring break. Just once again, everyone, I do not live in the alumni house. Let's squash that myth once and for all. By the way, a couple more things. Good luck on your quarter three assessments this coming week. We hope you do really well in distance learning with your Again, final assessments for quarter three. And now, stay tuned for a safety video from The Nest. Appreciate you, Seahawks. Stay well. Hey, Seahawks. Welcome back from all of us in The Nest. I'm Ms. R. And Ms. Martucci. And Ms. Clausen. And we are so excited to have you back on campus. But before we welcome you back, we have some business. We need to talk about some rules to keep all of us safe for the rest of the school year. First, you gotta mask up. Just like we were out in the real world, we are not behind a computer screen trying to learn math, English, and social studies. You will need to wear a mask when you're on campus, except when you have a snack or a drink during break. Number two, before you enter campus, you will need to show a green screen on your phone or other electronic device as a part of the Beach City's Health District daily screening process, which only entails answering a few general health questions. Once you fill it out and get that green screen, you get the all clear. Now you're ready for class. Now that we heard it from Mr. Brandt before, you're gonna hear it again, students. We all need to remember to stay socially distanced while on campus. We ask that you not cluster around your friends and other Seahawks for the safety of those around you and at home. The school has painted arrows going in only one direction all throughout campus. So please be sure to look down when you're walking and notice which arrows to which directions you can walk down the hallways. Finally, we are so excited to see all of your faces again. Juniors, we will be excited to be working with you guys while seniors, this is your year. So let's make it count. We are ready to graduate and with that Seahawks, remember, Wash your hair because you're going to campus. Put on real pants. And let's remember to think, are you being safe? It's time to get creepy, ooky, mysterious, and spooky. Join us as RUHS Theater Arts presents The Adams Family, based on the iconic characters you all know and love. Watch from the comfort of your own home on April 16th and 17th at 7 p.m. and April 17th and 18th at 2 p.m. Wednesday, Adams has fallen in love with a boy whom she wants to marry. Everything will change for the whole family on the fateful night they host a dinner party for their new guests. What happens when secrets amongst the family are revealed? Full disclosure. Tickets and more information available on www.ruhsdrama.com. You don't want to miss their biggest production this year. Here's your fun fact about marine conservation brought to you by the Beach Buddies Club. Did you know that female green turtles return to the same beach where they are born to nest their eggs, no matter how far away it is? Last but not least, if you're interested in joining a team, collaborating in a school-wide project, working behind or in front of the cameras, then you should apply to RUTV. Applications can be found in your school email. That's all for RUTV episode 25. I'm Tatum Brown. And I'm Bella Hines. Have a great weekend, stay healthy, and stay safe, and... Keep, Keep on, on soaring, Seahawks. Seahawks.